harvest time over here on the Jawtooth compound. They are up early out here picking the corn. Whoo, I just woke up. So let's have a look over here. Come back again.
Yeah, it was pretty cold out here this morning. But that combine, not only does it pick the corn, but it also shells it. It gets all the corn off the cob, and then it spits the cob out. Let me show you. There, see that? There, there's corn cobs laying all over the place. So the combine gets all the, the corn off there. I remember back when I was a little kid, when my cousins, they would pick their corn, they would pick it on the whole cob, cob and all. And then they had a big bin that they would put it in. It's kind of hard to buy ear corn like that now. I buy it like that for the squirrels, you know, still on the cob. It's pretty expensive to buy it that way because you go to a um, tractor supplier somewhere, they have these bags of it, small bags. Anyways, they'll be coming back around this way here in just a minute. Here they come, coming back again. Looks like it's been a good year. Look at all that corn. The wagon's even just about loaded all the way up. Now that's an awesome shot. Look at that. Is that cool or what? Live action there. Yeah, the, uh, the next thing they'll do is they'll have a, a semi truck around here somewhere and then they'll unload that wagon into the truck, into the semi truck, and then get another load. And that's Stalls. Stalls does a lot of farming around here. I mean, they do hundreds, I guess thousands of acres. They own like a few hundred acres um, that adjoin my property on the back. Whew, it's cold out this morning. That's yeah, pretty interesting. I was going to pull some trains today, but this is a little bit better. Well, I shouldn't say better, but you don't get this opportunity very often. Once a year at best, and that's if they have corn. Because they'll probably have soybeans next year. Now, part of my property did have soybeans on it. There you go. Not sure where their semi's at, but it should be over here pretty soon. Cool, another truck just came in. This is a big time operation. They're way over there. Treads on the machinery that keeps it from rutting the fields up. You don't want to put ruts in the soil, it compacts the soil, kind of ruins it. I 
I've never seen them rut the fields up. Sometimes I'll drive down the road, look at the other fields, other farms, where other farmers have picked their crops when it's been too wet, and you'll see these gigantic ruts everywhere. Yeah, you don't want that. So they've got the tread of machinery here that prevents that. Going back over that way again. And I got a few more fields on back that way to the left. They just got started here. There you go. Okay, now in case you're wondering, I own the land and I lease it out. And I've been leasing it out to stalls since 1994. That's when I bought this farm. I don't even have a tractor. I've got 105 acres all together and I lease out, I think it's 63 acres to stalls. And they do farms all around here. They've got all their land behind mine, hundreds of acres. They've got other land in the next county over, and they also do a lot of other farms. I don't know how many acres that they farm a year, but they do a lot. The only threat to them are those solar panels. The next county over, Highland County, they're putting those solar panels on these farms everywhere, and it's, it's just taking all that crop land away from the farmers. I get those letters from the solar panel people all the time. I got a little stack of them, I've been keeping them. Um, but I wouldn't do that. I don't, I hope that none of my neighbors around here does that too. I'm not too wild about the solar panel farms. I've got some videos of them shipping in the gigantic transformers on the railroad cars to the solar panel farms. Oh well, enough of that. What else is going on over here? Oh, they got the other, got that tractor right there oh here comes the semi there we go right on cue see they'll unload into that semi check out those tires what is that maybe it's just covers that's cool looking so the corn goes from the combine to the wagon to the semi then it'll go to a, a railroad car somewhere. I'm not really sure. I'll have to ask him about that. I don't know where it goes to after it leaves here. He's over there. Pretty cool. Here comes the combine again.
got live action. That machinery is very expensive and takes a lot of maintenance too. I keep my scanner on all the time. I listen to the local fire departments and I've heard two combines burn this year so far out in the field. Heard one just, uh, I think it was the day before yesterday. It was in Highland County, it's the next county over. I'm near the county line. I live pretty close to the county line. And they had one catch on fire just a couple days ago. I also heard a cornfield fire about maybe a week or two ago, something like that. I gotta unload that into that semi. I had more farmland out here. I'd like to own more farmland, but it's gotten too expensive now. I was lucky when I got this farm. Land was really cheap out here back then. But it rarely ever comes up for sale now. And the price, I went to that auction trying to get 13 and a half acres just a mile up the road at an auction. I couldn't believe how high the, the land price went for. I was bidding on it, but it went it went like three or four times higher than what I thought it would sell for. The last few years land has really gone up. That was a cool shot. Got that field done. I'm gonna go on back. There's a couple more fields back that way. A couple bigger ones. Meanwhile. Pretty far away though. But you get the idea, there you go. They'll fill that up and then they'll run the wagon back to the combine and get another load. Yeah, back when I bought this farm in 1994, I used my last dollar to get this place. I was totally broke. And this place was a dump back then. It was trash and junk. It took me years to get all the trash and junk cleaned off this farm. There was another house and another barn. Actually, there were two other houses on my property and I had to clean up all that mess. I burned all the wood and I shipped all the glass and trash and junk. Every year they have cleanup days in this township. You can take as much junk as you want for a couple days for free. I was taking truckload after truckload. I had a friend of mine one year brought his, his truck over. We were loading them both up. And I mean, I would load like 10 trucks a day getting this junk out of here. Finally got the place cleaned up after years. And there were tires, a lot of tires too. I got rid of, well, I got rid of the tires too. Tires are very expensive to get rid of. They won't take those for the cleanup days. Well, there you go. 
All right, I haven't called it quits yet on filming. Um, I walked back here. There's a couple more fields. This is a really big one right here. That's the biggest field. And on the other side of this tree line, there's another huge field right there. And the one that's over there, that was two fields. And they took a tree row out last year in the middle. So it's, now it's one big field right over here too. They're back on the back side right now, gonna be coming around here. Looks like probably clockwise in a few minutes. I'm back behind where my pond's at. House is up that way. Here's the back of my fence. I only have a horse in here. I used to have cows years ago. I was kind of like a, a hobby cow farmer, whatever you call it. I had cows for 15 years or so. But my fences are totally destroyed. Look at this. They just rotted away over the years. There's hardly anything here. This is supposed to be a gate. And I'm in the process of replacing my fences right now. It's going to take me years doing it myself and with my cousin. Now, we did get that one pasture. Um, my house is up that way. To the right of my house, we fenced in a few acres just to the right. And my neighbor has goats and sheep over there. He's got about 40 or 50 goats and sheep in it. We got that done. And I'm working on getting this stuff replaced right now. So far, I bought 128 post, wooden post, and they cost about $14 a piece. So it is pretty expensive to do. And I got a few rolls of wire laying up in the yard to see uh, sheep and goat fencing. I can use that for sheep, goats, my horse. I would like to get some more cows again, just for the fun of it. Just, I just like farms, always like farms ever since I was a little kid my dream was to live on a farm and now I, I own one I'm not a farmer I don't even have a tractor but at least I'm out here with the farm so I like it oh my pond is right over there and it's really low right now we're having a, I guess a little bit of a drought here that's the lowest I've ever seen the water in that pond. Oh, I'm hearing them. Here they come. I'm just trying to stay back. I don't want to get in their way. You'll see them pop through here in just a minute. Let's have a closer look.
already came through here. Look how wide one path is. One little swamp through there is pretty wide. So you can see where this field goes back to those trees. I've got about 26 acres of woods. It's behind the corn mostly and a little bit to this side over here. Got some woods on that side, it's kind of narrow. But the, the big field is right over there, the big corn field. They used to drive the tractors in between this little gap right here to get over to there. They go around the back now. I gotta burn this stuff. That's why I, I burn a lot of brush and scrap wood and, and that kind of stuff right there. I haven't burned it in a while. So while they're over there on the other side of this tree row, let's have a closer look at this corn. Look how tall it is. Way taller than me, about eight foot tall or so. I don't know, I'm just guessing. I'm six foot. And I peeled back one of these to tell you what the corn looks like. See there? So the combine will shell that and they'll only take the corn and the cob gets cut up a little bit and shot back on the ground as long I mean along with the rest of the plant the rest of this plant just gets chewed up and then shot back down on the ground and it'll um, rot back into the soil actually this corn is taller than eight foot I was just guessing on that look how high up there that is Yeah, I'm, I'm six foot tall and this stuff is towering way over top of me. There's the corn, what it looks like. Look at that. So they're on the next field over. When they get done with that one, they'll come over here and get this one. So the next shot of this field, this will be a big empty uh, field with nothing in it. But wait, there's more, there always is. Here's the big field that they still have to get, right there. And they're back over that way. And here's my pond. Let's have a closer look at this. And yeah, I did stock it, although I never fish in it. I put bass in there, bluegills, a couple other things I forgot. I've got a couple um, of the big grass carps in there to keep the weeds out. But look how low this pond is right now. It's down like a couple feet due to the drought. And there's my rescue boat. In case I have to rescue a dog or anything, that happened one time. One time when this pond was frozen, one of my dogs walked out on it, fell through the ice way out there in the middle. And I had a really hard time getting him out. But I used this boat stuck the boat I broke the ice over here at the edge with the oars stuck the boat in the water that just kept on breaking the ice all the way over to the dog and I pulled him up into the boat I don't want to ever go through that again we make sure our dogs aren't back here in the winter time when this thing starts getting frozen yeah I'll never forget that that was terrible There they are over there. We'll get a closer look here in just a minute. That's pretty cool. Hey, another semi just came in. Look at there. The one left, it was filled up. Here comes an empty one. Today is November the 13th, 2023. That wagon right there is what they put the cutters on from the combine, the front part of the combine, it goes on that wagon. That's how they move it from one farm to the next. 
I just put the cutting section of the combine on that wagon and then they drive the combine over without that on it. So there's another semi. There's my horse. Oh, he's got some burrs. Got to get those burrs out. Got a bunch of them. He is old. I bought him back somewhere around 2003 or 2004, somewhere in that area. So I've had him close to 20 years, and he was a few years old when I got him. Nobody rides him anymore. We used to ride him. They're still back there. We'll go back in a minute and check on the progress. But yeah, nobody ever rides him anymore. And I want to get all my fences replaced. Get some more animals over here. I just like having animals just for the fun of it. Okay, let's see what kind of progress we got here today. All right, so we set up this temporary fence to keep him in right here. So he can get inside the barn. This part here still gets to be tore down. This all needs taken out here. And all the fence along the road over there, that all gets torn out up to that corner. So Colonial Fence has already taken out this part of the fence over here. They're at lunch right now. They're gonna come back and then take out the rest of the fence after they're done from lunch. So they took all that fence out and they took that to the dump. Actually, I could have burnt that wood here, but that's okay. And this part here has got to go also. So this is gonna look a lot better when they're done. Have some new fence here in the front. Getting it done professionally. All right, check it out. We got two semis at the same time. The one on the right just pulled in they're getting a lot of corn out of here today. Having a really good year with the corn. That's good to see. I'm just a ho hobby farmer is what they call me. I own the farm and lease it out. I only bought this farm just because I always wanted to live on a farm when I was little. My cousins, cousins had farms. I used to go to their farms in the summer. I used to love working on their farms, hanging tobacco and helping them load the hay, that kind of stuff. My dream was to someday own five acres and have my own little farm. And I got 105 right now. I used to have more land, but I just wasn't able to keep all of it. I couldn't afford all of it. And I wound up selling, um, I see I sold a 26 acre piece. I sold a 15 acre. I sold a five acre and I sold a three acre. So I did wind up selling a bunch of my land. I wish I wouldn't have sold, but I was land rich and money poor. Couldn't even hardly afford a car back then. Just trying to keep the farms going. It's pretty cool. Look at two semis. Got the tractor getting ready to load the corn into that semi. The combine is in the back, still getting the corn. There's a lot of live action going on today. November 13th, 2023. We're also doing the fence. Um, I did find some people to work on the fence in the front. I got a professional company that showed up today. They had a customer cancel on them. So they weren't supposed to come for another couple of weeks. I wasn't ready for them, but they showed up today. And so we're over here setting up a temporary fence. It's kind of hard to see while my fence in the front is being torn down. They've already torn it down on the other side of the driveway. There's Mrs. Tooth. On the other side of the driveway, all the way down a couple hundred feet, that fence has been removed. So they're gonna remove this old fence by the road. So we're just now setting up a temporary fence. If you can see it, see that T-post in front? 
we just stretched some wire up there real quick across this to keep the horse off the road. Those guys went to lunch, so they're gonna come back and tear the rest of that down. So we should have this temporary fence done by then. It's to keep him in. And I'm gonna paint that barn myself because I can't get anyone else to do it. It is hard to find help on the farm out here anymore. I got my cousin working over here part time, but he charges $60 an hour. <laughs> I can't really afford that. Not much of that. But yeah, it's done some pretty good stuff. My cousin cut all these trees back right here. See along the fence? And piled that up. I had him cut all this out. I'm gonna burn this pile after they're done getting the corn out. And I got I got several more piles like that to burn. All right, there you go. That's the update on the jaw tooth compound. More information than you need. Thanks for watching everyone. Oh, I gotta get back over here, start working on this fence a little bit. See if we can get this job done. Might as well show that up close since we're here. See this? I just put these T-posts in a few minutes ago and stretched this wire out. Just a little temporary fence here, down through there. There you go. More, more information than you would ever need. Oh, I'm getting tired. Okay, thanks for watching everyone. But wait, there's more. Well, guess what? They're done. Look at this. This is a field that I showed earlier where the corn was, I don't know, between eight and 12 feet tall. This is where I pulled out that ear of corn to show what it looked like. So they are totally done. Got the other field on the other side of that tree row over there. It's almost the same size as this one here now. Actually, it probably is, might be bigger, I don't know. And there's another field out that way where they first started out by the road. So the job is done. And let's have a look here at the other field too. Yeah, it's pretty nice that they actually paid us for the crop about, probably about a month ago. Crops are still here. That's pretty nice. Didn't pay that early. And here's this field here. See, this used to be two fields and they took that tree row out that went down the middle, went across it. So now it's one big field. It might be bigger than the field I just came from now. Remember the big pile of wood that was right there? It was a big pile of lumber. They burned all that. I don't even know when they did it. I wasn't even here. I actually, I thought it was still there. And then here's the field up by the road. This is the one where they started. It's got a driveway coming in right over there. That's where they had the semi trucks parked. So there it is, they're done. And they'll be back next spring. They'll come back and um, do some spraying. They'll probably put soybeans in next year. So they'll come back in the spring. They'll spray to kill the weeds. Then they'll do no-till planting. They just make a single pass. They put little slits in the ground. They drop soybeans in. That's probably what they'll be doing next spring since they had corn this year. And actually, I have another field that's bigger than these fields. It's bigger than both of them combined. And it's way back, way back that way. You gotta go around to the left to get to it. It's off of another road. And it actually had beans on it this year. So there you go, that's it. Got two of these towers on my farm. Kinda wish they weren't there, but there's nothing I can do about it. Hey, I just got an idea. Since my channel is all about trains, Let's just go ahead and throw in a, a train video here at random. I'm going to find one. Maybe one I haven't posted, and I'll just put a train video on here since that's mainly what my channel is about trains. So here comes a train. So thanks for watching. 
Well, guess what? We did have a train run through here today. Train just went through Mount Orb. Now we're in Sardinia. I guessed the wrong direction. I heard the train, so I drove to Eastwood. And I discovered I went the wrong way. And they just pulled up through to Sardinia. They're getting ready to shut down for the day. Got Chessie with me. I guessed the wrong direction. This is very difficult to chase this, this railroad. It's hard to tell which direction they're going in when you hear them. Then you can't see them because of the trees. Anyways, there they are, just pulling up. Right there. Cool, look at that. I don't know if I can get any video of them. Not doing much. All right, well, they're shutting the locomotives down here behind me. I guess they're gonna pick up tomorrow morning. So, oh, that was a waste of my time. You can tell I'm pretty frustrated about this. So here's a random video. Let's put another train on here. All right, here comes the train, intermodal, westbound in Logansport. Oh, it got windy all of a sudden. Sorry about all the wind. It hasn't been windy at all until just now. This is gonna be cool, it's gonna hit the diamonds over here. Let's watch the train slam the diamonds.
That flashing red end of train device, so you just heard chirping on my scanner. Well, that was pretty cool. Still had some light. And the other train's still working right down there, working in the small yard here, Logansport. Logansport, Indiana. Man, it got windy just all of a sudden. Sorry about all that wind noise. It wasn't windy until just now. I don't know if it has anything to do with that train or not, but it got windy right when that train got here. But thanks for watching. And at the end of the video, if you have time, watch another video of mine because every view helps my channel. And the views are down again. Need to get those up a little bit. Help pay for the gas. All right, thanks a lot. See you later. Logansport, Indiana.